Hello and welcome to part one of our Crypto Frogs Masterclass. In this video, I'll be going over everything you need to get started buying your first shitcoin on the Binance Smart Chain, from setting up your wallet to hitting the buy button. So let's get straight into it. We'll start by setting up a MetaMask wallet. Make sure you have the latest version of Google Chrome installed, as MetaMask is a Chrome extension and won't work on other browsers. First thing you want to do is head over to the Chrome Web Store and search up MetaMask. Once you find it up here, it's going to be the one with 10 million users. I'm going to drop the link to this in the description below as well. What you're going to do is hit add to Chrome. It's going to ask you to add extension and hit add. Once you install the MetaMask Chrome extension, you're going to be greeted with this screen. Now, obviously, because we're starting fresh, we're going to do create a new wallet. You're going to want to agree to these things. The next thing you want to do is create a password. This password will be used to unlock your MetaMask wallet only on this device. Every device that you sign in with a MetaMask wallet, you can set a separate password. You must remember this password because you cannot recover it if you lose it. Uh, if you lose it, you cannot log back into your MetaMask wallet on your device. You're going to want to set a password for this. Hit accept and create a new wallet. Once you set your password, you're going to be greeted with another screen. Now, it's very important that you keep your MetaMask and your crypto wallets safe. I highly recommend you watch this video. It's only a minute and a half long and it will tell you everything you need to know about your seed phrase and everything you need to know to keep your wallet safe. Make sure you write down your 12 word seed phrase. That's going to be kind of your master key to your wallet and your funds. Uh, if you want to ever uh, open your wallet on a new device, you're going to need that 12 word seed phrase. It's best to not store this password online. Make sure you write it down in a physical place and keep it in a safe or somewhere that's not going to be touched or seen by anyone. And congratulations, you've set up your MetaMask wallet. You're going to be great with the screen again. And all you got to do is hit got it. Next, next. And here you are. You have your first MetaMask wallet. Now, in today's video, we'll be going over the Binance Smart Chain side of things, the BSC side of things. But I will be doing a dedicated ETH video all about Ethereum and trading on the ETH side, definitely my favorite side, but for today's video, we're going to start off on the BSC. Another thing you have to do is make sure you add the Binance Smart Chain network to MetaMask. This lets you actually receive and send BNB and also uh, connect your wallet to uh, BSC sites. What you're going to do is hit this button called Ethereum mainnet. It just shows which network you're on. Hit add network. And then click on this, the Binance Smart Chain, BNB Smart Chain. Hit add. I'm going to ask you to approve. And you will have a new network successfully. And there you go. Now you can see all of your BNB balance, see your assets, activity, buy, send, and swap. Now on to the next part. How do we actually get BNB into our wallet? Now, most of you might have heard of Binance itself. Binance is the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange. And if that's the case, then I'll be making a Binance tutorial in another video. If that's the case, uh, hit withdraw on your Binance account. Make sure you have actual BNB. And uh, over here next to your account name, it'll probably be called account one. You'll see a little wallet address. Hit copy to clipboard. And that means you'll be able to copy and paste your wallet address. Think of this address as kind of your uh, your bank sort code and account number. This is basically it, all in one. Um, this is public information to anyone. Anyone can see the transaction history with this. It's kind of the fundamentals of blockchain. Anytime you would like to receive funds, you will need this wallet address. Now, it, obviously, it won't be the exact one as mine, but yours will be up here. Just click copy to clipboard and paste that in. You can also buy BNB through MetaMask itself just by hitting this buy button. And uh, my favorite way to buy actually is with MoonPay. So click continue to MoonPay. MoonPay will ask you how much you'd like to buy and how much you will receive. Now, obviously, there are many different currencies here. If you are in America, you might want to use the US dollar. Uh, and one BNB is roughly $330 right now. Uh, I think it might be 335 select how much you want to move to your MetaMask wallet and continue. Make sure you enter your email or you can sign in with Google. They'll send you a verification code and then you'll be able to choose which method you'd like to pay with. 
either your bank card or your bank account. Either way, they are both instant within minutes of you selecting bank card. Make sure you fill in all of your details. And at the end of all this, there should be a little box that says enter wallet address. And that's where you head back over to your MetaMask wallet, copy that wallet address and paste it in and hit continue. All right, so now that we funded our wallet, we now have one BNB or roughly $333.86. Now you may ask, where do we go from here? So on to part three, actually buying shit coins. Now, my favorite way to buy shit coins on the Binance Smart Chain is through a website called PooCoin. It's quite literally a website for shit coins. It's a very useful website, which lets you view the chart, price and market cap of any token on the Binance Smart Chain. All you got to do is paste the contract address here. Now, PooCoin actually have their own native token, which I'll be demonstrating on today to show you guys how to buy and sell. The first thing you want to do after you find a contract address of the token you want to buy is paste it in here and hit search. The token will come up here. Make sure it's the right name, the right market cap, and most importantly, the right contract address. There are lots of scams. We'll be doing another video on how to avoid and spot scams very, very soon. But here we have it. The chart, the market cap, and the price of any token on the Binance Smart Chain. Now, as with most decentralized crypto websites, you will have to connect your wallet. On PooCoin, it's so that you can buy, sell, and trade on the platform. The way you do this is by hitting the connect button up top, clicking on MetaMask, and this little notification will pop up here. Now it will ask you to select which account. Obviously, we only have one account. And it's gonna tell you what permissions the site is needing. So PooCoin will see your address, account balance, activity, and suggest transactions to approve. It's important to note that PooCoin cannot make transactions on your behalf, so you don't have to worry about PooCoin itself stealing your money. I suggest transactions to improve. It means when you buy and sell, you will have to make transactions. And that's what it means by suggesting. So go ahead and click connect. Now to actually buy and sell tokens on PooCoin, you want to go ahead and click the trade button. You'll get this interface. Make sure it says BNB to whatever token you want to swap to. And let's say I want to buy half a BNB worth of PooCoin. It will tell me how many PooCoins I receive, my price impact, the minimum tokens I'll receive after price impact. Once you're ready to swap, hit the swap button and you'll be greeted with another pop-up from MetaMask asking you to approve the transaction. Make sure you scroll down here, verify that it's for 0.5 BNB or however much you want to buy and hit confirm. Your transaction will process on the blockchain and you'll receive your tokens in your wallet. Now, if you hit this arrow in the middle, you can now do the transaction in reverse. So you can now sell your poo coins into BNB. Over here, it will tell you your total balance of poo coins, which is right now I have 428, and how much your tokens are worth in BNB. Now, you might be wondering, why are my tokens worth less than what I originally bought them for just seconds after? Now, this is something due to taxes. Some tokens, including poo coin, have a tax. This means that for every buy and sell, there is a fee. And you might go, well, I don't want to be taxed on my trades. Well, don't you worry. Having taxes on tokens is a completely normal thing. Almost every token has it and it's completely normal. It's part of ecosystems. It's what funds tokens to keep them running. And it's what brings us to where we are today. Now, let's say I've made some profits and now I want to sell my poo coins back into BNB. You want to hit the approve poo coin button. Again, you'll be greeted with a, another transaction to, to approve. Anytime you want to buy or sell a token, you will always have a transaction to approve or anytime you want to interact with a contract. Once we've approved the tokens, we can go ahead and click the swap button. And once we approve the transaction, we will have our BNB back in our wallet. And if I hit refresh, you'll see the new BNB balance. So that's how you trade on PooCoin. Now, another very well-known platform is called PancakeSwap. Now, PancakeSwap is actually what PooCoin runs off of when you use their swap function. But some people love to use PancakeSwap more because it's a bit faster and a bit easier to use. Again, it's the same thing. You want to hit connect wallet, MetaMask, connect with MetaMask, connect. And again, you'll be able to see your BNB balance and whatever token you want to swap to. Now I'm going to grab the contract address for PooCoin, copy it, paste it into here, import, I understand, and import. Now I'm not going to perform the transaction again because I'm going to get taxed, but the premise is basically the same. 0 0.5 or however much you want to buy. The nice thing about Pancake swap is that it shows you the actual value of how much you are buying. Remember that tax I was talking about on PooCoin? 
Well, it's quite easy to see on PooCoin itself. So the buy tax is 8% and the sell tax is 7%. Now, unfortunately, on PancakeSwap, you have to set the slippage yourself. Slippage is basically what lets taxes work and what lets you buy tokens with tax. So if the tax is 8%, we want to set our slippage to around 9. Hit swap, confirm swap, and then once again, confirm the transaction. It's the exact same way in the other way around. Remember, the token you are swapping from will always be the top, and the token you're swapping to will always be, be the bottom. Now, let's say you made some sweet profit and you want to send it back to Binance or transfer it to your bank account. Well, actually, MoonPay can also let you transfer back to your bank account where the money came from. Head over to MoonPay and click Sell. You want to change this to BNB and however much you want to send to your bank account. Now let's say I want to send 0.5 BNB. Hit Continue, add your bank account details, and somewhere towards the end, it will ask you to transfer the funds to a wallet address. Now, what we want to do is head over to the little jigsaw piece at the top right of Chrome. This is what lets you open your Chrome extensions. Click on MetaMask and click Send. Copy the wallet address of where you want to send the BNB and then click Paste. Now select how much BNB you want to transfer. In this case, I want to transfer it all and select next. It will ask you to confirm the transaction once again. Once you confirm, a few seconds later, the funds will be transferred. And there you have it. You've bought your first crypto, made some profit and sent it back to your bank account. Don't forget to join our Telegram linked in the description below. That's where we post all our moonshots, all of our good coins on there and what we think will do well. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, turn your notifications on. We'll be putting lots and lots more educational videos just like this one very, very soon. Again, this is a long series and we'll be posting lots more videos teaching you guys everything about crypto, everything about shitcoin trading and how we can all make you some good money. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we'll catch you very, very soon.